Be ready guys. 5 second. Start. Sir, I do not look upon our plan as an over ambitious one. One has to remember while considering that our population is increasing faster than our means of production. We have to meet the challenge of this growing population. Undoubtedly, birth control is important. But it is not easy to carry out propaganda for birth control in a population of illiterate people and superstition-ridden people. Then, sir, unless we plan boldly, we shall not be able to provide employment for our people. We have to be in mind that it is essential to provide employment for our increasing population. Even with the plan carried out, the unemployment figure will stand high and the question to be considered is whether more attention should not be placed upon our small scale and medium sized industries. Is it not possible for us to ensure that all sections of the population get the benefit of the plan? After 10 successful plans, a few industrialists, despite our heavy taxation, own nearly 75% of the total capital of our public companies. Banking facilities for the common man are few and even banks favor large business houses because they have more guarantees to give than the small people. We have a large landless population and large numbers depend upon it for support. What we need therefore to plan successfully is greater cohesion, greater emotional integration and greater emotional unity among ourselves. We are wasting time over quarrels that do not touch the common man. Both the government and the opposition parties have responsibilities towards the mass of our people. Is it not possible for all of us regardless of party labels to cooperate fully in all those tasks that make for the welfare of the common man? Can we not forget petty party sectional communal and group differences. Is it not possible for us to have a national as opposed to a mere party outlook towards the problems raised by the plan? Sir, the general elections are coming. It should not divert our attention from the main task of finding solutions on a national basis to the problems of unemployment, health and education. These are the things that our people mostly need and to them we must devote our full attention. The second thing that I would like to emphasize is that enough our national income has increased by 42%. We do not exactly know how it has been distributed. It is not enough to say that the per capita income has increased. The right question that has to be answered by us is whether it has increased in terms of real income. For that we have to see whether the price level has kept pace with the wage level. It is no satisfaction to a man that this nominal income has gone up though at the same time the price level has reduced his purchasing power not only for luxury articles but for articles of common consumption. Concessions have been made to industrialists. Perhaps it was inevitable that they should be made. We had to provide incentives for capital formation but the budget even after the reliefs given which I gratefully acknowledge will I apprehend increase the burden of the common man. The middle classes are the backbone of the community. There is dissatisfaction among them because of the rising prices. It is essential that it a mixed economy such as ours the state should evolve a machinery of adequate price control. Prices should not be allowed to go beyond a certain level and there must be a ceaseless war against holders and profiteers. They are pests of society and should be looked upon as such. Equality of sacrifice demands that those who have more should be made to pay more than those who have less. The marginal utility of money is greater with people of less income than with big income. The third point that I would like to point out is that 
कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ इकोनॉमिक पावर शुड बी डिस्करेज वन ऑफ अवर आर्टिकल्स प्रोवाइड दैट द ओनरशिप एंड मटीरियल रिसोर्सेज ऑफ द कंट्री शुड बी सो डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड